Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be giving you my honest spoiler free review of Madam Web. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so to get into the mix of things regarding Madam Web, so a basic plot summary about the film is that this movie tells the story of Cassandra Webb who is a paramedic working in New York City and she is starting to experience that she has some psychological powers which comes from her past and pretty much she has to protect three young women from an evil spider person or spider man but i think you can pretty much tell what i'm getting from there so this movie i'm, I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna be blatantly honest here this movie was not good i did not enjoy this movie one bit and uh considering how much that uh sony were trying desperately to uh throw a lot of spider-man references in there i was not impressed and uh i gotta say this probably for me has to be one of the worst comic book movies i've ever had to sit through in two hours it was that bad and no i'm not jumping on the hate train or anything like that this is honestly not worth your time going and seeing so i grew up on this character cassandra Webb. And I loved her in the 1997 Spider-Man animated series. That is when I got a really big connection to Madam Web. And I was really looking forward to seeing how she was going to develop into the character in, the, in this movie. And they ruined it. Sony ruined it for me. And I was just really let down because I've been looking forward to seeing her on screen debut. And they blew it. And I just, I have to say I'm very, very disappointed as a Spider-Man fan. This hurts. This really does hurt. And I've got to say, to me personally, the cast in this, they literally felt like that they didn't care at all. And also the dialogue was unbelievably horrible. The only thing that I pretty much enjoyed about this movie was Sydney Sweeney. That is pretty much it. I just don't know what Sony are doing. I, honest to God, really do not know what Sony are doing. And that's now kind of got me pretty terrified for Craven the Hunter because I know that's supposed to be coming out later on this year or next year. I don't normally do reviews like this, but it was ungodly terrible. So I do not recommend this movie 100%. I just don't see how Sony are going to really deliver this whole no Spider-Man universe thing that, that, they, that they keep referencing Spider-Man or hinting at Spider-Man in it. And I just don't know. I really don't know. So if I had to give my ranking about Madam Web, I'm going to have to give this movie a 3 out of 10. Yes, I really did not enjoy it that much. And I just got to say the editing, the dialogue and everything in this movie was just so messy and it just didn't make sense and that is pretty much where I have to give this rating and this does actually kind of sting but I feel that this is the right rating to give it so if you guys did enjoy my movie review for Madam Web please make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up don't forget to press the subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell when to be notified when I upload a brand new video so here is my message to Sony please stop making these really terrible films please focus more on delivering us a good film please please actually take the time to care about these characters let alone to the writers of these movies please care about these characters and movies that is all i ask is please take the time to consider your options and actually deliver us good movies and stop destroying these characters that is all i ask Please take this into consideration for all of us who are superhero and Marvel fans. Please. Thank you. And thank you, as always, for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and share. And I'll see you all in the very next video. And until then, happy Blu-ray hunting. All the best and peace.